<sighs> Hello. What's up, you guys? It is Jack back filming another video for you guys. So, um, hello. How are you guys doing? I this is so, gonna be this is gonna be awkward. You guys know that coming back after not being somewhere for two years, it's like, oh, I don't even know how to start this. Hello, you guys. I'm Jack. If you guys forgot who I am, I make YouTube videos. Well, I, I made YouTube videos for almost eight years or nine years, and then I took a very long break. So I'm going to be trying to explain where I've been for the past two years, and I hope you guys are responsive to this video. I know some of you are probably feeling some type of way because I was gone from YouTube for so long, and it just happened to coincide with when I started OnlyFans, which I'm some sure some of you guys are like, hmm, interesting. He started securing that bag, and then... <laughs> disappeared in a wisp of smoke. But you guys, I think the break that I took from YouTube was honestly a very long time coming. I'm not sure if I told you guys about this. I'm sure I mentioned it a long time ago. I never really wanted to be a YouTuber. Like back in the day when I was younger, I that was those were the days where YouTube was like Angry Orange and Fred, which I never really looked at that and was like, huh. Oh my god, I'm inspired. Like, I just, it's not really something that I wanted to be. I think on the list of things that I wanted to be, YouTuber was very, like, probably wasn't even on the list, to be honest. I, if I hadn't passed out at the sight of blood, I would have wanted to be a doctor. I would have wanted to be any, a lawyer or something. I would, like, you know, like, on those billboards where it's like, Have you fell down a flight of stairs? Girl, then you call me right up. That's what I would have wanted to be. You would have seen me on one of those billboards on the highway, but unfortunately you're seeing me on your tablet or computer or Nintendo 3DS or whatever you're watching this on because clearly YouTuber won out. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this whole thing came about not because I wanted to be a YouTuber, but because you guys, I really wanted back in the day to connect with gay men. I grew up in a very small town. It wasn't the smallest town on the planet. But there were a lot of straight people, a lot of barns, a lot of chickens, very scant, is that the word? Scant, scarce amount, this is not English, scarce amounts of gay people. So because of that, I made a coming out YouTube video just because I really wanted a way to connect with gay men that wasn't just like grinder. Somehow it honestly took off, I listen. I don't know what algorithm saw this video and was like, promote it. Like, I, I don't know how that happened, but I guess back in the day, your boy had a monopoly on the market somehow. I didn't have a monopoly, but like, I feel like coming out videos, there were not many of them. So because I uploaded that video, my YouTube career kind of took off and it kind of began. And I was not prepared for the cons that went along with that. I love the pros, like I was living it up, but the cons really didn't hit me until probably about like three or four years ago. And then they started really weighing on me. A con, for example, is you guys, when you start out as a YouTuber, you have to brand yourself and you have to market yourself and you have to make a brand and you have to double down on it over and over and over again. Every network will tell you this, management will tell you this, every like how to be a YouTuber video will tell you this. And the thing is, it's fine if your personality isn't the reason you're making YouTube videos. Because I think when you do that as a personality, you become like this Frankenstein person where you start to become what you think people want you to be. So if you guys think that I'm funny, I'm doubling down on that. You think I'm an overshare? I'm gonna share the craziest things about my life. And eventually when you do that over and over again, you become like this thing and you look at it and you're like is that even like a real per is that me like i don't really what i'm trying to say is there becomes you and then there becomes like a youtube version of yourself the other con is you guys we all know this the likes and views are very very addicting and youtube i don't know why i think they were like we'll help you brand yourself better so here's every fraction detail here's all the data <laughs> so you can see when you failed and you can see what age group you failed in and why thank you for that youtube but guess what i'm not a hamburger at McDonald's where we can be like, oh, like the 18 to 34 demographic didn't really like the taste of the bun. It's like, you know what I mean? Like I'm a human being and I can't easily change myself the way you can change, add some more pepper and salt to a burger, right? Anyway, at one point in order to succeed on YouTube, you have to sacrifice enjoying it. And I was never really prepared for that. And I didn't really have to deal with that until about like six or seven years into doing YouTube. It reminded me a lot, and maybe you guys will understand this. It reminded me a lot of me playing soccer back in the day. Like soccer used to be something that I love doing. Like it used to be my identity. I remember back when I started playing it, I even wrote like a poem in sixth grade and it was like, I'm a soccer player. My screen name back in the day was Soccer Slammer. I don't know what a slammer is, but you know what? It was my brand at the time. Like I really enjoyed soccer, but the more I had to like 
get competitive at it and the more and more time I had invested in it and the more it became this identity that I was protecting, the less I kind of liked it. At one point, I remember I had to like make a team, like make the high school team. And I was even thinking to myself like, God, I need this team. It's so important that I do. And I didn't even at that point want to really play soccer anymore. It was just that all my life I'd been a soccer player and I wasn't ready to deal with like, who am I without soccer? You know, what will I write poetry about? You know, I'll just become slammer instead of soccer slammer. And I didn't know what that looked like. And I feel like YouTube is very similar to that. Like at one point I wasn't doing it out of joy and I wasn't doing it because I was making content that I loved. I did love some of it, but I mainly was making stuff because I was trying to protect the identity of being a YouTuber and I didn't want to fail at it. And I wanted to, uh, you know, be there next week being a YouTuber. So I was doing things kind of out of necessity and it was almost like a fight or flight thing. It was like, oh my God, got to get the views because if I get the views, I'll be rich. <laughs> and if I don't, I will become a lowly maid. And it would become this thing where literally, like clockwork, if I had to make a video on, you know, a Tuesday or something, Sunday night and Monday night, I would be like, okay, brain, got to brainstorm an idea. And internally, this is what happened in my brain. Oh, okay, got to film tomorrow for YouTube. So uh, let me just brainstorm and try to think of an idea. Oh, hey, it's my gamer side. Uh, gamer side, sorry to disturb huh? you. Do you have any ideas for what I can film to get a bunch of views on YouTube? I don't know, I could play a game like I am right now. <laughs> Let me reiterate the fact that, you know, this needs views, so I could open Pokemon cards or something. Yeah, maybe that could get a view, but I think we need to think bigger. I don't know, I could take off an article of clothing every single time I lose at my game. You know, I'm actually liking where this is going. Ooh, did you just feel that chill? Oh, what was that? Oh. Depressed side, back again. Hey, uh, depressed side, um, we're a little busy here, so if you could just go away for, you know, more than a few days this time, that would be appreciated. I could read a poem for a YouTube video. I, I think we're okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm gay and depressed, but <laughs> what else is that? You know? Ooh, that was good. Okay, don't <laughs> clap for him. I could read another one if you'd like. This one's entitled, My Broken Youth. I saw the play. Oh, oh, sorry everyone. Fitness side. fitness side, do you know any ideas I could use for a YouTube video? Hey, I could do a workout video. Can we do that naked? Yeah. Um, I, I think LA Fitness would, you know, just strongly condemn that, so then no. <laughs> anyway, does anyone have any ideas? Like seriously, it Okay, no one pay her any attention. It's my I could sing a song <laughs> on your YouTube channel. Okay. Where is that muffin, uh, by the yes, way? Yes, uh, someone will get you a muffin. And it needs to be gluten-free and sugar-free and muffin-free, so... Soon, and tepid water, what did you, what was it? Lukewarm is what I specified. So anyway, we'll get that for you momentarily. So if you please just... Oh, I shall warm up my vocal cords. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so does anyone have any ideas? Do we not like the Pokemon card idea? Jesus. Okay, I'll just brainstorm myself then. Okay, what happened to me this week? I stubbed my toe. I ate um, a bad sandwich. I accidentally had sex with a gay mind. Oh my God, there it is. So, okay. There we have it. Okay, I'll get the, the camera off. And then I would turn on the camera, film myself, and then faint. <laughs> I would that's, I would turn on the camera, film myself, and then fall asleep for like 12 hours. Like, it was a lot. Like, it was this exhausting cycle that just repeated over and over again. And it's interesting because, like, I would turn off the camera after filming videos like that, and I would be like, huh. I am so happy I can share my life with the world, even though I would share, like, 
2% of myself with the world. And then I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so glad I'm so confident. Even though I was like not confident enough to share like 98% of myself with the world. I think that's like the biggest regret I had with YouTube. I, like I said, I don't regret YouTube at all. I loved YouTube, but I think I took this boy who had so many talents and I condensed him into this thing that was great for branding, but it didn't necessarily make me feel good about myself. And when I was gone from YouTube for two years, I was like, if I return to YouTube, I'm gonna do it differently. And it may not seem that different, but I'm not gonna feel the need to turn on a camera and be the same version of me over and over and over again because it's good for views. Like I'm at this point now in my life where I care more about success and respect than getting attention, right? So fucking respect me. No, I'm just kidding. But I really don't care about putting forth the most attention grabbing parts of myself anymore. Like obviously it's YouTube. I understand that, but I'm not interested in being this person that you can't look away from or being the person who's like every single week, like, hi, I dated a gay, a gay clown. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's what it was every single week. Right. And listen, I'm not above dating a gay clown. Like, you put Wanho in a clown outfit, I'm not gonna be like, you know, like, I'm going on a date with him, right? So I'm not above the chaos. That's just not what I'm seeking out in my life anymore. That's not the energy I want in my life anymore. I'm not going on dates this day and age with gay clowns. I'm not going on dates with gay... In general, like, I am just over here enjoying my life, and if a guy happens to come along, then we will handle him accordingly trust you will be dealt with no but honestly i feel like that's where i'm at in my life like i said i care more about you know i'm definitely more zen with myself now and when i look back honestly i was looking at old videos of me i genuinely was on cocaine like i wasn't actually on cocaine i was acting erratic like i needed to be like you well not euthanized what is the word i needed to be tranquil i needed to be put like uh, knocked out because like i there was something like that was not normal behavior by any means but anyway you guys i look back on those videos and i don't see somebody who's confident i see somebody who was trying to be a youtuber trying to hustle and succeed in life and it also i see a guy who felt the need to be at an 11 out of 10 all the time and i think that's how i've always really felt with dating with friendships with everything in my life i never felt comfortable just being me i always felt like i needed to be doing more i needed to be louder i needed to be funnier and like i said that was in every area area of my life and I didn't want to return to YouTube until I felt comfortable just being me not screaming not clickbaiting well let's rewind that a little bit I didn't want to have to feel the need to be at a 13 out of 10 all the time otherwise I'd be boring I was about to say lest I be boring what was that but anyway, you guys, that's where I'm at right now. I, I felt if I had returned to YouTube sooner, I would have just went right back to being the person I was the past five years. And it well, like I would be on the path to being that forever. It would have literally been like, story time. I'm in, I mean, not an insane asylum. I'm in the retirement home and I made out a gay nurse. And then I don't want to fly the stairs. Like, it just would have been a lot. Or it would have been like, story time. I had a threesome with two hot guys. And they were end up being mops because I'm seeing that like it just would have been a lot. You know what I mean? Like I saw the ghost of Christmas past or the ghost of Christmas future, whatever you want to say. He visited me and he showed me my future if I didn't, you know, get it together. And I did not find it pretty. So yes, that's why I needed to kind of regather myself and figure out who I wanted to be. And then I needed to figure out how to achieve that. And I like where I'm at now. Like I don't feel the need to be over the top. Like I like the way I look. I like the way I dress. I like the way I sound. I like the way I sit on a chair despite the fact that a bunch of other people complain about how I sit in videos. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I hope this video made sense uh, for you guys. I don't know when I'll be back on YouTube. It might be a week. It might be two weeks. I don't know. I filmed other videos, believe it or not. So there's at least some videos that will come out. I don't know how rapidly they'll be coming out, but I love you guys so, so much. If you want, follow me on Twitter, official.com, Instagram is jmeridu. Uh, my OnlyFans will be linked below if you want more content from me. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy hearing my voice again. And yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks again. Bye, guys.